Hi, uh, welcome everyone to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen with a lot, and I mean a lot of mods. It would take a while for me to go over all of them. You can see a few of them down here. I recently got a new computer, so this is going to allow me to try a new mod set without getting rid of our old playthrough that we already have up on the channel that we're actually pretty close to finishing, if I remember correctly. However, I wanted to take this opportunity to try a new mod set, and I figured, since I've got a brand new computer, why not, uh, why not stream the occasion? Why not stream for my first playthrough of this uh, RPG overhaul mod? We got some other stuff going. It's a music modding system. There sh there'll be multiple games, uh, soundtracks in here. I think this is a default soundtrack playing right now. There's lots of characters in the character pool, most of which, if you've seen the previous playthrough, you'll be familiar with. There are 17 new faces that have been added since uh, since our previous playthrough, which I still plan on finishing, by the way. So if you're confused uh, watching on the video later, wherever this ends up getting uploaded, as to, hey, where'd the previous playthrough go? Don't worry, it's not going anywhere. It's, uh, well, we're going to be trying something new here. Right, so let's go ahead and click new game. Uh, veteran difficulty will be fine. I thought about playing on commander difficulty, but since this is the first time with me playing with this massive mod set, uh, we'll be playing on veteran. That on, that on. Peace game, turn timer. You know, I am gonna turn precision explosives on. I initially was going to play without it, but this applies to them too. I figure why not? Well, let's see how many of these I end up turning on first. Um, Commander's Choice, Origins, I want that one. Um, typically I would play with something like Training Roulette, if that was playing like an Enemy Unknown or Enemy Within, because I really like Training Roulette, but since this is the first time I'm playing with the uh, RPGO mod, I will leave it for now. Here's the thing, the AI is going to put this at our feet, regardless. You know, we'll play with it on. There's some other things in the mods we might end up restarting as well. So it works a little bit better if we're on stream, because if I'm recording it locally and I have to restart, you'll never see the video. If I have to restart a campaign. But if it's on stream, uh, you'll get to see the, the full experience, which means you may actually get to see me load the game. 
Same conduct as before as well, we're not allowed friendly soldiers to die. That does not include units we get through other means, like through a uh, resistance order or other things, but XCOM units in particular are not allowed to die. So if their HP hits zero, uh, well, we better hope they roll that they're bleeding out instead of dead or else I'm reloading the game. Other than that, I don't really plan on loading. I feel like it'll make me so I have to actually, you know, play the game better instead of suiciding soldiers. That's the theory behind it anyway. Uh, no, because Iron Man makes recording a nightmare, and we need to turn that off. And I will play with the integrated. We'll play with integrated downloadable content. Right. I think that's everything. Accessing the feed now. We're in. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider. This is central. Go. Mistakes are bound to happen. Before the battle, it wasn't our fault. It's a battle. Please. There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider. Report! So, you do exist. Yep. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. 
striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. As soon as the game loads it loads in, we'll see how many frames I dropped. We're heading into the city center to strike a big target. Something that will shake up the tranquil little utopia Advent has been building all these years. Secure the designated coordinates and neutralize all hostile contacts. Firebrand will be in the area for your extraction. Oh, we're in Novgorod again. Hopefully the music doesn't play out. Menace one five. We have a fix on the target. All right, so we got Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. I Lovely. How are we doing frame rate wise? We're doing great. Absolutely fantastic. and make a save. Looks like everything's working so far. Oh, hey! Right! The clouds sink. <laughs> we, the skirmishers, were created by the false gods of this world to serve and die as their puppets. We retain all that we were and more, and our prowess in battle serves us well in our cause. In close combat, none can stand opposed to us. We'll see uh, if the music gets too annoying. If it does, I'll see what I can do about changing it. I'll go. I've got a few different ones, so it should bounce between a bunch of them. Bunch of Command and Conquer ones should also be on there from all their different games. Ah. 
<sighs> it is time for inspection. Okay. It does seem efficient. I was worried for a second there that her voice was bugged. I actually thought that was Sola at first. Right. Gotta move. Take your time and think things through. Minus one five, you're near the target position. It is time. Let us go. Everyone is so cautious now. I'm trying to get eyes on the admin officer, if you're wondering. You're wondering what we're doing. I won't engage while both of them are in my line of sight, because I don't have a Reaper with me. There they are. But I did want to know where they were.
over here. Go 
over. Although I guess he was out of frame of the uh, three to one overwatch. up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menus 1-5, we have a limited window to act before advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. I love it. It does seem efficient. Do you need 
something. Venice 1 5, we have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Stand. Go ahead and save. Venice 1 5, we have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Menace 1 5, rendezvous at the extraction point. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charge. So, literally standing here from the statue, can he get liquidated? Done by the reckless actions of a few misguided dissidents today. We stand with the elders. Trust in their wisdom, and we shall overcome this crisis. to the research labs. Impressive, isn't it? I'm capable of generating immense power. You're completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology. Commander. Dr. Richard Tiger, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Well, to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. <laughs> you know, I don't think there's supposed to be any music playing in that scene. We'll just say that they're they're having a party in the armory. And they're just broadcasting the music through the entire ship. Oh, we'll go much later. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from your old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. 
you are probably expecting to see my father. And all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed at what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. Yeah, I admit this is pretty immersion freak. Dad sacrificed the only thing he had left to get this ship off the ground. And I won't let it be for nothing. She might be a little worse for wear right now, but with some new schematics and a little elbow grease, she'll be the toughest thing in the sky. Alright, Armory. You've done a hell of a job keeping this ship together, Doctor. It's all we've got. And I know the aliens aren't happy about losing one of their own. I doubt they thought anyone could get this heat bear born again. I'm more than happy to prove them wrong. Alrighty, so... so we go. Let me make sure all this is working. Uh, soldier stats is there. Is there a trainer's choice? Spartan 2 is listed. Right? CPU is listed. The Jedi class is listed. That's not that big of a deal, to be honest. Do I get four choices? I want to say I get four. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's why.
by force user is listed there. Flying, but I don't see anybody else stepping up other than the autopilot. Um, you.
soldier stats screen. Aptitude mortal. Well, that sounds great. So, unlike base game, from what I can tell, soldier stats are or the upgrade of soldier stats are now applied manually instead of based on class. So what that means is I have to upgrade their stats myself using SP or AP. Resistance factions take a more flexible approach to training than traditional soldiers. They can often learn multiple new abilities with each promotion. They will adapt to follow your choices, Commander. Huh. Is that you? Reflex to combat. Lightning reflexes. Nice technical rigging. Multiple mix. Return fire. Decide how to best use both. The ship 
is yours. Commander, so far these skirmishers have been true to their word. Their operative has just relayed the coordinates of their acting headquarters, here, which considering their history is a big step for them. It'd be worth spending some time here to investigate the area, and meet their leader, Betos. My kind were once the puppets of Athens, slaves to the Elder's twisted vision. Now, slowly we are freed, and all who see their bonds broken are driven to fight the Elders with a rage that cannot be stopped. By our own hands, we will destroy all that the Elders value. Alrighty, so we can do improved combat intelligence. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. Yeah, we don't have it. Avenger plotting new course. We'll see what I can do. Commander, the Avengers' remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. It's going to take some time, though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. This will prove to be an important step forward. Weapons, new brewing ground, project available, apprentice, apprentice lightsaber, brewing ground, project available, apprentice, apprentice saber staff, weapon upgrade file. send word as soon as we have something of note. The aliens have considerable resources at their disposal, but we've still managed to do reasonably well against them, despite our own limitations. Thank you for sending additional support staff to assist me, Commander. I will make sure they are put to good use. Avenger plotting new course. All right, so next your slide. Commander, as the resistance continues to grow, we'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. As it is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll